In this topic, we will going to discuss about the date and time. Date and time is a very, very important element in any data science program because it represents the timeline of the information. And most of the data sets that you will see will have this component. So you have to be pretty expert into the date and time operations or manipulating the date and time data into the uh, into the Julia. So in Julia, we have uh, three different or three main data types. The first one is dates dot time. The next one is dates dot date, and third one is dates dot date time. As the name name clearly suggests, it deals with time. It deals particularly with date, and it deals with both date and time. Right very very straightforward so how you can start using the dates well you need to import the dates module so using dates so first of all after using the dates uh, there are some inbuilt commands for example now what is now now is this this is 2nd October and it's 8 a.m. right now it's a complete string. It has both date and time. Since it has date and time, it which part we will going to work with is this date time, right? If we need to do some perform uh, operation on this particular piece. Similarly, you have today, and if I just go ahead and enter, it only gives me the information about the date that we have it today. So you have like multiple inbuilt you know functions which which you can use and you can see the documentation for it but these are like two very heavily used function now afterwards what you can what i will show you is how you can define the date so first of all let's say let's define a birth date for example somebody's birth date is uh, uh, maybe in 2000 and may 1st 1st may 2000 uh, is the date and as you can see the format is yyyy mm and dd that's the format and if i just execute it it will give me the birth date and it's stored over here right similarly uh, along with date you have date time so now i am not assigning it just showing you the function or the functionality let's say 2000 five one and we want to capture the time as well in this case so maybe it's at 10 a.m 15 minutes 25 second very very important in the context where you want to maintain the time which is very necessary for every individual especially in india at least i can say because there are like a lot of dependency on other factors about uh, astrology and all so to do that that's the time that you will going to record so first is date and another is date time now let's see how you can get to know about <coughs> excuse me uh, information about the different time zone so I'm again using the now function which was giving me the information about my current time zone but if I want to specify a different time zone then I can mention the UTC so what is the time in the UTC time zone again it's 2nd of October it's 2 a.m. 39 minute and 03 second so this way you can specify directly the time zone and get to know about it afterwards um, what if if I want the year from from the birth date so let me assign the birth date over here so that it will store the value and i want to extract only the year part so i will write the year function and i will write the birth date and it will give me the year part very important from the data manipulation perspective similarly you have month if you want to capture the month so month birth date similarly you have day and again again you can just mention the birth date and you will get the date the same information the same parameters that you have specified but in general context once you are working with the big data sets you you don't have to specify all of these things but you will be having a series let's say thousands of millions of dates and you just want to extract the the year or the per the month or the day part of it 
and very easily by using this function you can manipulate this data all right now let's see a uh, similar thing uh, in function inside a function or a nested function so here now so what will it do right so if you have guessed it correctly it will give you the current year now so what is the date now it's 2019 over here with entire date part so you will get to know what is the year which is going on right now apart from this if you want to extract the hour information so you have the hour function hour now and this is basically 8 am so that's why 8 has been given you have minutes you have seconds that you can apply after this you have let's say you want to identify the day of week day of week and you let's say for the birth date so day of week is first because it was first may 2000 and let's say we want to figure it out the day name birth date it was monday so again you have one more parameter into your data set that you may drive it with this let's say you are interested in day of quarter maybe some operation that you may want to do it so birth date this is a 30 second day and it's in the calendar form or calendar quarter format not like fiscal quarter for fiscal quarter or fiscal years like different companies use you have a different operations altogether and then day days in month birth date how many days that you have in the month of birth date 31 days may has 31 days and similar you will see the other um, other dates as per the uh, month that you are entering so days in month again like like i said previously you have lots of different functions about it i can go on and on but this is just to give you a good idea about the different functionality or main functions which are available afterwards some mathematical operations so let's say you have today's date right and you want to identify how many days it has been between today and birthday so simple birth date and you will get the number of days let me see method error some error that it has given and probably i know why because today only gives date and it is having date time so what do i need to do need to put both in a similar format so earlier i uh, executed this as well along with this so now the date is having this but today if i show you is only having this part right but your birth date is having an extra part of this so what i'll do is i will come here and make today and birth date in a same format and i will go down and execute this again and it will give me 7093 days right so good that error has come here and um, very quickly uh, if you are aware about uh, some of the settings like this then you can clearly resolve it very quickly now uh, this was the uh, this was the operation on subtraction what if if i want to say today plus and i want to add few months so month five and this is the march of 2020 so right now it is october so october november december january february and march that's the fifth month and that's how you can get it right similarly you can see the world of opportunities like the day year and whatnot that you can do with this afterwards what do we have is uh, formatting the dates so for example um, we let's say store a date format using the date format function and uh, one of the date the way dates are stored i think either in uk or in india is mostly around that we have days first so dd mm month and y y y y so generally in west you have uh, month first and then day first and then year and here in india or in uk you have these these format so you can specify whatever format that you like but this is how you can decide the date format and then you can say dates dot format for the birth date which is having year first so birth date 
and then just say what date format you want and then I will have 1st May 2000. So this way you can specify the date format for your dates. So I think that's pretty much it. I wanted to talk about the dates, give you the initial but the good ideas, all the different possibilities that you can have with the dates in Julia. As you can see, the library is really powerful and you will have to get a good hold on it because you will see a lot of lot of operations if you are a data engineer or data analyst. Pretty sure you will going to use it a lot as well as if you are into machine learning and all. No, no words to say that how much you will going to use it. So get a very good idea about it. Read the documentation, read lots of functions and see how you can really apply it.